Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode of LR Live, we are going to try and save you a heap of money using a new diagnostic tool to code your keys. Before we get into it, just want to let you know that there is a discount code available at lrparts.net right now. Here's the discount code. If you go to lrparts.net and you enter this code in checkout, you'll get 10% off anything on the website. Now, what you're about to watch is for a diagnostic tool that's not available from LR Parts. It's uh, available separately from the supplier. There's a link below for their eBay listing, and also there's a code later on in this video that will get you some discount on that. But it's a separate thing. But just to let you know that there is that discount code at LR Parts. It's well worth it, 10% off. Off. it's for this week only so go check it out now if you haven't seen a previous video we did using the iCar soft OBD reader it's definitely worth a look because there's a whole host of things you can do with that unit so following on from that I wanted to try and see what else is on the market uh, that might be suitable and I've come across the auto fix now this is the d1 light and the reason I wanted to show you this unit today because I need to code a key for my discovery so this is the kit. It does come in uh, its own box, which is nice. You get all the cables you need. But uh, the fact that it's just far more robust, I really love the case. It's got a nice protective case on it. It's got a camera on the back as well, so you can take pictures of while you're working in the engine bay if you're trying to record something and you want to get more information while you're in there. So really, a lot of functions. I wonder actually if you could actually connect a borescope into here because it's got usb in and it's also got memory card look expansion slot well when i bought the discovery it only actually came with one key and it was already pretty mashed up i've had to glue it together and it's not ideal i don't have a spare now to buy one of these from land rover coded and cut ready for your vehicle is going to be well over 350 pounds i've been into timpsons which is a brand in the uk that have a chain of shops they specialize in cutting keys and they'll actually supply cut and code a key for your uh, discovery your land rover for 180 pounds which isn't too bad but you can buy these keys off the internet so off ebay uh, they vary in price from between sort of 15 and 60 quid um, certainly for the discovery 3 what i've been looking for now i bought one of these originally and it was 15 pounds i thought i'll start cheap and i'll work up from there so i paid 15 pound for a key fob it did have the internal um, electronics inside there so all it required was just basically cutting and coding so i got the key cut and i tried to code it but it just wouldn't work so what i've done is i've done a little bit more research i found a more expensive key and I'm just hoping that means it's better. And the actual key fob itself was 55 quid. So we're at 65 pounds now for this key. That means if I can code it with this unit, it's basically saved me 110 pound already. And not only that, I'm also gonna use it to do the steering calibration on the vehicle, which again, if you had that done in a non Land Rover dealership would probably cost you best part of 150 quid. So just with those two jobs alone, we're nearly recovering the purchase price of this unit. And this unit, this Autofix D1 Lite, can be used on any vehicle, so it's completely unlocked for any vehicle. So let's check it out and see how lucky we're gonna be. Now, if this works, and I'm recording this as we go, as we speak, if this works, I will put a link in the description below where you can get one of these yourself and also a discount code. So stay tuned, let's just see if this will actually do the job. This is the OBD reader. We plug this into the system. So we'll get this into the vehicle. And that's just, that's it, it's beeping away. So that's now linked, and I'm just going to boot up the tablet. Now, this tablet can be used as a standard tablet as well. So the nice thing about that, that is, because it's Android, you've got access to Chrome, and you can do some searching. So if you're in a vehicle and you're looking at, um, I don't know, diagnostics, and you get some fault codes, and you want to sort of do a little bit of an explore to see how to fix that, you can actually just jump straight into the browser and have a look and see what's available. Now I've got this linked to my phone. Uh, let me just put the mobile hotspot on. So the operating system on this is a professional operating system used by a lot of garages. Uh, and although this is a light version, it does do an awful lot. Now I'm not that familiar with the setup, so you know, I'm gonna be fumbling around a little bit, but this is almost the second time I've used this unit. But let's just see how good we are on it. So if we go into diagnostics, I've already got my vehicle logged in there. It's detected the vehicle, which is great. It's now hot functions, I believe, is where we've got our key coding. As I said before, this might not work. So we've got immobiliser keys, uh, program keys. Now I'm going to try and do two keys. Oh, 
So I've got the original key in now. Key programming, now perform the steps below. Remove the key from the ignition barrel. Insert the next key to be programmed into the ignition barrel. So that's out, and this one's in. Ensure the ignition remains off. Press OK. All keys have been correctly programmed. Number of keys programmed too. I don't think that's correct, but we'll try. Turn the ignition to position two. So one, two. Okay. Clear the fault codes. It says it's done. I don't think it is. Let's try and start the car. So this is our, this is our original key. You can see how worn and knackered it is. And we've got our new key in the ignition. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness! It works! Oh, that is fantastic! That really is fantastic. Let's try a few functions. So if I press it on here, locks, unlocks. Does this one still work? Brilliant. So you have to have the original key in, in order to code a second key. Now, if you might know all this, I don't, I've never done this before, so sorry if I'm teaching you to suck eggs, but if you're looking to get yourself a second key coded for your Land Rover in a much cheaper way, I can't do more than recommend this seller on eBay from where I got my key from. I'm sure they do keys for all sorts of vehicles, including uh, other Land Rovers. Get yourself one of those keys, get yourself one of these diagnostic tools because it's going to save you straight away 120 quid. So it saves you 120 pound without question. That's what you're going to save because you're doing your own key coding. Now, if you click the link below, you can actually get this unit at a discount. And I'll put a discount code on the screen now for you as well. That's exclusively from us. But what a fantastic tool to have. Now, the thing I mentioned before as well is about doing the wheel calibration so if you want to do uh, the steering wheel calibration on your vehicle you can do that with this as well um, not only that you can reset your servicing it's just got so many features i don't want to bore you with it right now because we're going to be using this tool quite a bit in the future at the end of the day this is not um, an introductory obd tool this is a proper sort of commercial level diagnostic tool that's available to you it's very easy to navigate and it's going to save you a fortune. If you've got any interest in cars, if you like just fiddling around on your own vehicles, you like discovering what's wrong or diagnosing problems, doing your own servicing and resetting service lights, this is going to do everything. <sighs> nice little reminder there to tell us to remove uh, the unit. So click the link below, uh, use the discount code that I've got for you here, and you're going to save yourself a heap of money in the long run. And we're going to be using that unit a lot more in the future on some other uh, vehicles, and I'll just keep you up to date on how we get on. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please do subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.